Alrighty guys, today's video we're going to be taking a look at handbrake and how to configure and set up handbrake for ripping and converting movies and videos. So let's just go ahead and get started here. We're going to launch um, handbrake, so let's get ready. Um, so first off, I'm going to quickly just uh, let you know that I'm using uh, 0.99 um, uh, handbrake here. So just want to quickly note because it may look different if you're using a different version. So we're going to be uh, ripping a, a video that I already have here. Um, we're just going to be converting it. I'm just showing you how, just using this as a demo basically. Now if you're ripping from a DVD however, you are going to have many titles listed right here, okay? So what you want to, want to do basically is do the drop down menu here and select the longest video okay the longest video um, the longest uh, file should be the one that is the main movie there that you're going to want to uh, add for the title option here so make sure you add that okay that is pretty important so okay here we got the file this is going to be the file name it's going to be um, and you want to make sure the format is mp4 as well that's very important uh, choose your file folder your directory so I got my videos um, if you want it web optimized, now this is just going to be for my desktop. It's not going to be uploaded to YouTube or put onto a website anywhere. It's just going to be uh, for my um, own viewing purposes. Um, however, if you just uh, mouse over these options, it tells you um, basically what it's about here. So this allows a player to initiate playback before downloading the entire file. So that's pretty cool. You can ha uh, check that, uh, tick it if you want to, but I untick it. Um, now this is just this is the just a um, the normal settings here. This is for my normal settings that I use. Um, sometimes I do have problems, so I switch over to my advanced um, um, setup here that I have, which we'll go over in a minute. Okay, so you want to make sure that your um, your picture settings is good. Um, so you want to make that either uh, 1920 by 720, or you want to uh, downscale. To, um, whatever it recommends you downscale it as. I got the auto crop on, um, the crop dimensions, there you go, you got the frame rate, you got the aspect ratio, and the source encoding, which is uh, H.264. Uh, so that's all set. We're going to go over to videos tab, right? Over here, we want to make sure the video encoder is at H.264 uh, as we have. Um, you want the frame rate same as source, and make sure that's a variable frame rate, that's important as well. Um, over here, we have the uh, the quality we want to make sure that's at uh, 20 um, and you want co uh, constant quality as well so down here you have uh, use advanced settings which we're not going to go through now we'll go through that as we uh, go into the advanced settings over here um, so let's click on audio now that we're done with video um, you want to make sure that your bit rate is 160 for me I use it as 160 it works perfect for me um, so just copy these settings down if you feel like doing that um, as you can see you can change the bit rate up here the mix, uh, stereo, mono, um, you got the uh, encoder here, we have AAC, uh, and then you got the track, um, list of audio tracks available from your source. So it just says unknown, that's fine. Now over here, the subtitles, you just want to keep that default, I don't mess with that as well. Um, advanced will be later, we'll configure that later once we choose our preset here. Um, chapters as well, that's just one video. Um, if you're going to have a couple of, of, of uh, titles up here, you're probably going to see more, more chapters. Um, as you can see here, we have the chapters tab, drop down, seconds, and frames. Um, I use this as default. This stays default. Um, tags, you can, it doesn't matter. You can title it if you want to do something different, but I just keep that as default. So, now we're ready to convert and encode. So let's hit start. Uh, my computer is going to take a while to encode this video because I only have a i3 for CPU. Um, and I have 8 gigs of memory, so it'll take a little while for me to encode this video. So what I'm going to do is actually just go ahead and stop this. Cancel, stop. Okay, so it's done encoding. It canceled it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually um, exit, exit, uh, uh, exit the uh, handbrake. We're going to relaunch handbrake. We're going to go to the advanced settings. We're going to go to source. And we're going to add that same video. As you can see, it started converting. There's the file that it started converting. Um, we're just going to go to the same video here. This time, however, we're using the advanced preset that I have here. 
See? As you can see, it's different from my normal. It's web optimized, as you can see. Um, let's see what else we have. We go to video. And it's pretty same on the video, although it has the use advanced options. Now that's something we're going to go through. Um, as you can see as well with the audio, the bit rate is 128. So that is the only thing that's different for the audio. Um, subtitles the same uh, default. Now the advanced section, as you can see, it has been activated to where we can change some stuff. So, <coughs> excuse me. Here you're going to want to have the reference frames to 4. I find that most... Uh, the best um, encoding here is uh, having this reference frames as 4. Um, these are all recommended. Um, now if you have problems with it, go back to the normal settings that I discussed and use those settings. But um, I recommend using these settings here. If you're having problems with just the normal settings, um, you may want to change over to the advanced settings. Um, this, this, I, I, I have good quality videos with this setting as well. Um, and I use this, this setting quite a bit as well. So I keep saying as well. <laughs> But uh, yeah, maximum B frames is three. Pure metal B frames normal. Uh, weighted P frames simple, which is basically default. Uh, motion uh, method is hexagon. Uh, sub PEL ME and mode is uh, seven RD in all frames, which I believe is like two. Um, but you want to have seven. Motion uh, range is sixteen, which I believe that's not default. Um, then you want your adaptive direct mode spatial. Uh, you want your adaptive B frames fast. You want the uh, 8x8 transform ticked. You want the CABAC uh, entropy encoding ticked. Also, you want the uh, partitions most and trellis uh, encode only. And you want to make sure once you click down here, you want to make sure that is at rev equals 4. Okay. That's kind of important. As you can see, my graphics is flipping out here, having some issues. Um, so, yeah. Once you get that preset done, what you want to do is click the save button down here, save current settings to new preset, and that'll allow you to have what I have here. Basically, I can change between presets, as you can see. Pretty pretty easy, pretty simple, very fast um, switching between presets. So, yes, that is that with the advanced settings here. Um, then we're going to switch over to chapters, which is default. You don't need to add anything there. And then tags is just the name of the title of the video. Um, and then once you start downloading or you start encoding here, let's just start. Destinations already exist, that's fine. Alright. And now it's going to start encoding your video. Wahahaha. <laughs> These settings are awful, uh, also, excuse me, also um, good for ripping uh, DVDs as well. So if you have a movie, um, you can use these settings. Um, I recommend trying the normal settings first and then trying the advanced settings because you may have problems with the normal settings ripping a a um, DVD. Now some are protected, some are hard um, to break through. Um, they, some of the Netflix and uh, other other DVDs that you can buy or other, um, you know, Hulu or whatever, you know, Redbox, they have some protection on there that does inhibit or makes your quality of your video really crappy. Um, I have noticed that personally, especially with series, um, TV series and stuff. Um, no matter what I do, no matter what settings I change, and no matter what program I use, um, it always turns out like crap. And I'm not sure if if they added something in to, to make that so, but uh, I recommend um, I recommend just trying movies out and trying out some TV series. Some TV series work, some don't. It depends. Some of the older TV series do work, and you can rip them, but some of the new ones you can't, like uh, Breaking Bad or... or um, uh, some of the you know newer TV series, uh, Walking Dead, and so on, um, they have protection against it. That handbrake can't, um, I can't seem to figure out. I guess I don't know what's going on. I also tried uh, Win DVD X, I believe it is Ripper, for Windows, and that also had problems with with um, sorting out the uh, encoding and stuff. It always was always was a hassle with with the newer um, TV series. But like I said. It's great for encoding, uh, encoding other videos that you have uh, recorded yourself, and you just want to change them, uh, make them more high quality. Uh, and it's also, you know, if you get a good movie and it's it's it encodes and rips pretty good, then uh, I recommend Handbrake, guys. I recommend Handbrake. It's free, open source, and just completely awesome. Um, yeah. So just uh, check out the settings. Um, pause the video when I was going through the settings there. 
and you guys will be able to uh, just write down the same settings as I have. So right now I'm going to pause the recording real quick until this is done encoding and then we'll give you a little sneak peek at what the uh, outcome of it is. Alrighty guys, so it seems that we have completed our encoding of our video as you can see. I have some tabs and a bunch of junk open. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, there's a video. What's this? Okay, that's my recording. Don't need that. Okay, so it has finished encoding. As you can see, the title is the uh, same as the original. However, it's got the um, M4V, which is basically uh, MP4 video with the V at the end, I believe. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and go over here to our video directory where we saved it to. And as you can see, we actually have two of the same um, videos. However, the extensions are different. We got MP4 and M4V. Um, so we're going to go ahead and play the M4V uh, video, which is a video that I did personally, um, which on my Windows 8.1 uh, start menu. So we're going to go ahead and play this in VLC Media Player and what see how well up, we did. Guys? Welcome to a another video for FTI. And okay, so overall it looks good. So let's go ahead and move we on encoded now. pretty so good. It sounds really good. And the the video Why looks looks well as well. So this is just overall the video that I just encoded with Handbrake it looks decent. All right, so let's go back to this one and VLC. What is up, guys? Welcome to a another video for FTI and for BrayhawkTech.com. And it's um, this today I'm going to be taking a look at what's on my Windows 8. I don't know if I can tell any difference. <laughs> Now, I know you're saying, well, that sounds familiar. The title of this sounds familiar. There doesn't seem to be any difference in the video. I knew that was to be expected. What is up, guys? Welcome to a, another video for FTI. And However, if you have problems with your audio or it just sounds crappy overall or you have a an extension you don't like, you don't want to have it in MP4, you want a different um, extension uh, format, uh, Handbrake is the go-to program that I use to convert. Um, so yeah, I recommend Handbrake for ripping and encoding video. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful open source program available for Linux, Mac OS, as well as the big corporate windows. <laughs> um, so thank you guys for watching. This is Jason here for HiveMindHacks.net, and we will see you guys next time.